Ketapu family, peace and blessings. Um, some people might want to know the context of the Jeliba work we have on this page. Just to give you a heads up, the ancestors are what we call in ancient Kemetic a metu netter. Metu netter means words and neter means the divinity. Same word from which we get the word neter is nature. We get the word nature from neter. So the um, metu netter and the Shepsu were the enlightened ones. They were the ones who have lived truth so that their example could be a light for humanity. People such as Imhotep, Ptahotep, Senemut, Hatshepsut, and many others. That's ancient Kemet. So their light can only shine if they come back into the world. And how they come back into the world is by, first of all, learning the lessons which they came to bring by learning how they lived their lives and what occurred. In African tradition, we are ancestors who have come back into the world, meaning that if we study the nature of energy, it doesn't die, it just goes from different form to form. You know, like when you punch somebody, that energy goes into their arm, energy continues to circulate. That is an understanding of which is very scientific. Our true essence, which is not even energy, is eternal, right? So consciousness takes residence in, in our physical form. The ancestors are lessons and blessings that go into the Akashic records. We read them, so we do not necessarily tap into the ancestral and Akashic records but just by reading. We need to meditate. Maybe if we do divination, we can get a div divination. But at the same time, Learning and reading about them is the start of the pathway to acknowledging their greatness into our lives and welcoming the blessings which will come from it. Respecting our ancestors is similar in African culture to respecting your elders. The ancestors, after all, are just the elders of our elders. And taking it a little further, creator, creatress is just the ancestor of our ancestors. Before they were the ancestors, they were the ancestors which is not bird chair if we take it all the way to the core of the true self in ancient Kemet. Nebir chair is creator, creatress, in sync with the male and female balance, positive and the negative, the yin and the yang, the tefnut and the shu. So the African ancestral manuscript is the Jeliba in memorial, because the Jeliba is going through time Bring, bringing back jewels and pearls of wisdom from the lives of our different ancestors, focusing on our African ancestors because the other ancestors have been focused in on long enough and have wreaked lots of havoc in the world. So um, we're focusing on these African ancestors. It's open to everybody to listen, to get informed, and to pursue that knowledge so the African Ancestral Manuscript, which is the book, and these um, bio jelly bar presentations are not the be all and end all. They are the start of a wonderful journey to go up the pyramid, the pyramid of truth. Pyramid is a divine, divine tool, which we built and we knew alchemically when we transitioned, it could enable our spirit to go towards the higher planes, right? That's why we built them. That's why they're pointing towards Nut, which is Mother Sky, who is the rebirth of our set. Nut and our set are similar in different dimensions. Our set is a faculty within our physical form and Nut is the mother universe. But those faculties are equivalent. So we are progressing and we like for you to in all humility, listen to these stories, take them in, do further research and further meditation on some of the key concepts of the people. Also, no longer be dominated by that dialectic that came from those people of the sand, those people of the dunes and of the darkness, the Tamaru, 
who will hear mostly to confuse, diffuse, and disenable our divinity from growing. In our ancient temples of Kemet and all over Africa, Zimbabwe, Timbuktu and Mali, Ghana, Songhai, the Nook, the Yoruba, the Dogon, we always said, know thyself. And know thyself is the key to life, the panacea to living. Not because we are egotistical or our personalities is who we are, but because knowing thyself is knowing nebature. Because nebature is the essence of us all. The creator, the creatress, which is called in the Judeo-Christian tradition, God, Allah, Jehovah. Knowing thyself and understanding that God governs us as beings. There is a divinity, Osir, which is indwelling, and the divinity which is outdwelling being Nebuchadnezzar. We need to connect the two and understand that like Aset and Nut, they are reflections of each other. And we need to go through Aset and Nut to reverberate and reconnect. So listen to these stories, listen to the context of these stories, research these stories, but more fundamentally meditate upon your divine attributes that come through these stories. Make these divine attributes manifest on earth because there's so much darkness and we are bearers of light and truth. Just like the Ankh with the pyramid is a demonstration of light and truth. Let your heart be lighter than a feather. Let your ancestors live forever through your experiences. You've got to be clever and you've got to understand and understand that there is no death. We just come from form to form. Life continues. And to respect our ancestors is to respect our elders, to understand that when we do that, they will be able to help us spiritually and literally. So give thanks for the Shepsu, give thanks for the African Ancestral Manuscript, give thanks for all of those who choose to listen to this channel and benefit tremendously. If you do benefit, do feel free to live, leave a testimony, some verse about the ancestor. If you have anything to add, we are open to your wisdom as well, because we are all channeling that wisdom when we live truth and tap into the Akashics. Peace and blessings to everybody. Come every day to the African Ancestral Manuscript, the Jellyba page, and you'll be blessed with the story of a great African woman, man, God, man, God, woman, just for you and your children to change, change the dynamics and start more progress in knowing thyself, which is not temple, because to know thyself is to know God, to know Nebuchadnezzar, as we are. So will it be? I am because we are, and we are because I am. And Creator is within us so that we can continue to be free, enlightened, and bring back truth and reality to humanity. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. Peace and blessings, Hetapu, Udabu.